Hello guys, welcome to the first video on Qt tutorial for beginners. So what is Qt? Now Qt, which is also pronounced as Qt, is a cross-platform application development framework which can be used on multiple operating systems like Windows or Mac OS or many Linux operating systems, right? And it has a same user experience across the hardware platform for all operating systems, right? Now, many of us think that Qt is a GUI framework, which is also true because Qt is majorly a GUI framework, but it's not only a GUI framework, right? It also comes with uh, many other uh, modules or framework something like database access modules or XML parsers or web you know modules or network or serial uh, communication modules and many other modules right so it's not only GUI framework but it's a you know combination of multiple frameworks so primarily Qt is written in C++ right but it can also be written in multiple languages like python c sharp or ruby ada pascal php perl or java but we are going to learn the most basic uh, you know language of qt which is qt in c++ right so we are going to learn how to use qt using c++ okay now let's see some of the history about Qt. So Qt was initially developed by two Norwegian students in 1995. So in 1995 Qt was uh, developed and these two students make this company called Trolltech in 1995. Now the major uh, you know milestone in the history of Qt was qt4 which was published in uh, summer 2005 and in 2008 this qt uh, company was acquired by nokia which is a major mobile brand at that time right and it, it was a finnish company and in 2012 it was acquired by a finnish company once again which was digia now Qt has three licenses. One is GPL, second is GNU GPL, and third one is commercial. So Qt is an open source, uh, you know, uh, framework. If you want to develop open source, uh, you know, application whose source is uh, free and open source online, right? But it also has the commercial version of Qt. So if you want to, uh, you know, make a private uh, application, then you can use the commercial version of uh, Qt. And if you are using commercial version, you don't have to share your code in open source. Now, as I said that Qt was traditionally written in C++, but uh, in the version later than 4.7, Qt Quick and QML with JavaScript was also introduced, which was ideal choice for tablets or smartphones. And Qt leverages itself from C++. So if you know C++, then your learning curve for learning Qt is less, right? Now it is a high quality, mature, free, excellent support for localization. And it also supports 32-bit uh, and 64-bit uh, computing, okay? Now presently Qt uh, version 5 is uh, you know in use and more precisely at the time of making this video Qt 5.6 is in use and QW2 uh, 6.x is in use right. Now Qt as I said is a rich set of widgets which is more than 1000 widget it allows you to use and QWT also has around 125 or more classes now in addition to the qt uh, ide and qt framework 
it has a wonderful and very good uh, documentation help and examples and you can find these example on the IDE itself and on these website which are www.qtproject.org and qt.digia.com so these are the two website you can find the document of uh, QT and many other forums are also there for the helps right now moving on what companies or who uses QT now European Space Agency was one of the first major customer of uh, QT and then many uh, major uh, you know customers like Google Earth Skype or many other companies like VLC or other company which you can see in the list here are using QT so if you want to learn QT you know it's not uh, alien language it's used by many major companies right now what are the tools which you will get whenever you download Qt so Qt comes with uh, its IDE which is uh, Qt creator which is a cross platform IDE if you don't know what is IDE IDE stands for integrated development environment okay so the first tool which you will get when you install Qt is the Qt creator IDE then you will get with the Qt creator ID the designer for designing your uh, Qt GUI application then you have a tool called Qt linguist which will allow you to uh, you know translate or localize helps you to localize your um, you know application so for example you want to use multiple languages in your Qt uh, application Qt linguist will help you to do that now it also comes with Qt assist which is a customizable documentation reader which is also part of this Qt creator IDE now the build system which comes with Qt is QMake which is also a cross platform building tool something uh, like uh, you know make file if you heard about make file or CMake right now Qt also have plugins for other IDEs so it can be integrated with Visual Studio for Windows or it can be integrated with Eclipse IDE also now there is a configuration tool also which allows you to configure Qt on any specific platform and also at the last it comes with Qt SDK which has rich C++ libraries to use okay so these are the tools you will get whenever you install Qt okay now Qt SDK so let's talk about Qt SDK the Qt class library encompasses all the functions needed to build a robust high-end application and they can be separate into several modules so these are the modules which are the part of Qt uh, SDK framework but these are not only uh, you know non exhaustive list of uh, frameworks there are many other frameworks uh, you know Qt comes with so Qt comes with Qt core framework you have a GUI framework then SQL and XML networking open GNL framework and the framework for multimedia WebKit or uh, and many other framework Qt comes with now let's talk about Qt libraries so there are two major Qt libraries like Qt core and Qt GUI now in Qt core you will get file IOs or event and object handling frameworks or multi threading or concurrency frameworks plugins setting management like uh, slots and signals and many other uh, you know frameworks or mechanism which are the part of Qt core in Qt GUI the set of customizable widgets are uh, the parts or 2d graphic canvas or open GL integration uh, is the part of uh, Qt GUI applications right 
So this is a brief introduction about Qt framework. In the next video, we will learn how we can download and install Qt on our Windows operating system. I will be teaching uh, Qt on Windows operating system. And then later we are going to see how we can create uh, our first app Qt application and how we can use uh, these frameworks in Qt. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.